Hey guys, what's up? In this one, you will see me working on the previous challenge from the Discord. We got many submissions, and many of them are so nice, smooth, and accurate. By the way, next challenge is up. It is this one. The rule is simple. You do whatever you can do. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be accurate. Just whatever you can do. The whole point is to practice over and over again. So basically, you practice, you get feedback, you learn from your mistakes, and you keep repeating the same loop over and over again to a point that you are comfortable with modeling difficult shapes. If you want to share your results, you can join the Discord group. You can also DM me on Instagram. And finally, if you are from the Patreon, you can use the community segments. Anyways, now let's go into Cinema 4D. Here is my result in Cinema 4D. I'm quite happy with it, as I have no artifacts around the shapes also i should note that you can use whatever program you want to use as most of the tools that i use are universal okay enough talk now let's get into modeling i got my cylinders set up over here i also increase up the rotation segments to 100 to make it more challenging i will start off with the base cylinder as this is going to set the whole mesh and what I am going to do is go to the rotation segments and lower this down to something manageable like 28. The reason why I set this to 28 is because I have got two tricky shapes coming up. Moreover, they are not the same in size. So it is obvious that I need more segments than usual. So 28 is going to be a perfect starting point. It is not too high and it is not too low either. Now that I set this up, by the way, let me hit NNB. I will select this one and lower down the segments until I match the crossing edges. Let's zoom in. It seems like 20 is going to be okay, but we are not done yet. We have one more step and it is going to be about scaling this cylinder. So what I want to do is simply position where these two objects meet right around that edge which is going to eliminate all possible artifacts around where these two objects meet. So do not do something like that or like that. Position it exactly right around here. I will do the same thing to this cylinder. Select it. So we set this to 20, which means that that should be lower than 20. So I will start off with 16. Then I'm going to scale that up. I am trying to do the same thing again. Where these two objects meet is quite important. So as I said, it should be around here. Okay, next up, we need to add in a Boolean object, then put all of them into the Boolean. Then I will tap C on the keyboard to make it editable. Next up, we need protection loops around where these two objects meet. So I am going to get the first one by double clicking on that edge loop, then slide to hold on control, and then go into proportional and clone them like so. I will do the same thing. Next up, I will grab the line cut tool and go around the crossing section. Let's go into points mode. It is going to be easier to see. I'm going to stop at the center so that I can use the symmetry object. Then that cylinder. Next up, I will grab polygon pen tool. We need to clean up these points in between those loops. And the thing is that we can do whatever we want with these ones. The position of them are not that important because these guys are going to protect the shapes. This one, that base cylinder, and those little ones. All right, now I want to connect those points. I will do that with the connect points and edges tool, or you can simply hit M twice on the keyboard. Perfect. Next up, we need to work on those areas. The reason is we simply broke the flow off. Look at that edge, look at that one, look at that one, and then look at this one. It follows a different path than the other ones. So basically we need to make that edge as straight as possible. 
To do that, I will again grab the line cut tool, connect these ones. I'm trying to keep that distance as tight as possible. Next up, polygon pen tool and get rid of these ones. Now, this is a straight edge loop, more or less. We should do the same thing here line cut tool. Connect these ones, polygon pen tool, hold on control, get rid of these ones. Then we need to add in some loops. These ones, then line cut tool. Same here, three loops, then line cut tool. So even out the surface, you can add in more loops. It is not that necessary, but you know, I always do that. We also need to tighten up those areas, so let's add in those loops. Finally, I will drop this one into a symmetry object. You should set this to Z, enable weld, and finally remove outside option. It seems like we picked up the wrong one, so I will set this to minus to positive. Perfect. Let's drop this one into a sub D. And let me remove that plane in the middle. To remove those sharp edges, I need to select the form and turn off edge breaks. I will drop in those loops. And if you look around where these two objects meet, especially around these parts, you will see no artifacts, no pinching, no bulging. Perfect and smooth results. So basically, the way we positioned those cylinders allowed us to get a really nice and clean result. The rule is actually very simple. You simply keep things as even as possible. If you keep that distance short, it is going to cause lumpiness around here. So position of that point should be somewhere around here to make that edge loop as straight as possible. So this is going to be it. I hope you did enjoy and learn something new. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime. Also, don't forget to check the next challenge so that we can practice together. Anyways, I will see you later. Bye.